Hey guys, Alicia from Love Letter Generation. Hope you're all doing well. I am on here with our next challenge that Tanil and I do um, whenever we get a chance. And with this week's challenge, we have a a guest um, a guest joining us who is the lovely Anna from Creatively Blessed, and I will leave her. YouTube link down below as well as um, Tennille's who's paper milkshake and um, for this challenge we decided to do a 10 favorite cut apart challenge so we had to choose 10 of our favorite cut aparts of all time and then use that as a main feature so I have quite a few favorite cut apart so this one was quite hard again kind of like the one we did previously where we had to choose 10 of our favorite cardstock paper so it was a bit of a struggle I had um I had some other ones that I was umming and ahhing about and wanting to put them in with this challenge but I just I had to choose my top 10 so a couple of my favorites kind of got left out but i will show you those ones after i show you um what 10 i chose so i ended up going with this one here which is an oasis cut apart sheet and it's made from vellum and it has gold foiling and it is absolutely stunning so we basically just had to cut out one of the cut aparts from our favorite cut apart sheet and just use that to create kind of like a little uh, cluster. So I'll show you what, what I mean um, once I show you all the papers that I chose. So this one is one of my all time favorites and I just love turning these little um, tags and tickets into like sequin shakers because they're made with vellum and you can see the pretty sequins through it usually so I ended up using this for the challenge so that's my first favorite cut apart and this isn't any in any order it's just um yeah top favorite 10 so this is another one of my favorites so this is the camera cut apart sheet from Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams and I love just cutting out these little square pieces with the camera and using these on my projects. I just love cameras and I also love the colours as well and the sizing in this pattern. So then we have the Good Vibes Cut Apart Sheet by Crate Paper. And this one I love because it's just so always been so vibrant and colourful. And yeah, that's why it made it to one of my top 10. Pretty much most of all my cut aparts are beautiful, bright vibrant colors it's just seems to be what i like and then some are very um like pastel as well and florally so it just depends <laughs> on what it is so uh we then have the all heart cut apart sheet sorry i'm trying not to cast a shadow and i hope my camera is focusing so yeah, I've cut out my favourite cut apart from the All Heart by Crepe Paper 12 by 12 sheet. And I ended up using, you guys could probably guess which piece I used out of this cut apart sheet for those who know me well. <laughs> then we have Maggie Holmes Bloom which is again another beautiful cut apart sheet so you can see there I've basically I think it might have gone like that and I've ended up cutting out one of the cut aparts up the top there I also used some of the cut aparts in my um, favorite cut apart clusters as well so I've used some multiple ones 
as like the layering background pieces, which you will soon see. Um, this one here, absolutely love. This is my only sheet of this Oasis cut apart from Crate Paper. And I just love all the bathing suits. It's so gorgeous. And you can't get this anymore. So I'm pretty, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't use this cut apart a whole lot because I am trying to salvage what I have left. I'm trying not to use it quickly, but still use it, but without using all of them. So I want to save some of these. They're just, it's such a beautiful cut apart sheet. And then we have this one here, which again comes from a um, Maggie Holmes collection, which is Chasing Dreams. And I love cut aparts that have kind of like your little calendar um, pieces on here. And I just love all the colours and I love the um, like the script uh, writing there or font. So that one actually came out of the um, Chasing Dreams 12 by 12 paper pad, which I had in my stash. So I've used um, a couple of these, I think, in my clusters. And then we have this one. I know I said I wasn't going to use this because this also is my only sheet, kind of like my um, bathing suit oasis one. But I decided I absolutely love this. I always have. And I recently received this from Tina, Tina's Craft Creation. Oh, hold on. Yeah, Tina's Craft Creations, I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> oh dear, so I've got a couple of um, Tinas, so I'm just trying to remember the names. Um, she sent me um, this ticket sheet in my wish list. So we did like a little wish list swap and this was part of it. And I thought I'd use some of the tickets out of the top here because this is a favourite cut apart of mine. It is absolutely gorgeous. I just, I love tickets and I love gold foiling. So I had to use some of that one. And then we have this one here, which is from Maggie Holmes Bloom. And again, I love this one because of all the little like ticket pieces and um, like tags. It just, it's kind of vintage like, and I like that about it. I like all the pastel colours as well and all the different sizes. And then lastly, we have this cut apart sheet here, which is from the Maggie Holmes Carousel Collection. And I love that it looks like a, um, like a fair newspaper article. So that's one of the main reasons I really enjoy this cut apart. And it's black and white, so it can kind of go with anything. And I also love that it's like fair and carnival circus sort of themed. So very magical. So those are my top 10 favorite cut apart sheets that I have in my collection. And most of them I don't have much left, actually, because they are my favorites. Um, I should have... I should have purchased more when I had a chance, but we never seem to do that, do we? So I'll just move those to the side and I'll just quickly show you the two cut aparts that I would have added in, but I ended up just deciding these. But there were two others that I could have used as well that are my um, favourites, but unfortunately we couldn't have a top 12 favourite. So <laughs> I also had... Um, in the mix this cut apart here from gather i really love the bird and the ballerina and the deer and this piece here and the horses so this is one of my favorites but like i said i had to narrow it down to 10 so that just only just didn't make the cut that one and the same with this one here which is from the maggie holmes garden party collection 
I love all the beautiful like pastel colors and the florals it's just so pretty so that one only just missed out as well in my top 10 so if I had a top 12 this is what you would see in it with everything that I've just shared with you so now I will show you what I created using my favorite cutter parts so I'll just grab them so I did a little bit of a mix of a couple of different types and they turned out so cute and I'm sorry if the lighting's not too great guys it's just um it is night time here when I'm filming it's sort of the only chance I get now to film so it might be a little bit dark over here because of my shadow possibly so I made a whole heap of um, cut apart clusters it's a kind of like a fun way of gifting all kinds of bits and pieces to your pen pals and in your swaps so here we have a little um, cut apart cluster and I have my favorite cut apart piece from my um, one of my favorite cut apart sheets on the top here of the cluster And then I've just added all kinds of different, um, I'll just move those to the side. So I ended up adding some beautiful pink snow chool. I ended up adding like a little pocket. We've got some pretty uh, trim. So I used this like pretty gold glitter star trim on all of my cut apart clusters because I wanted to add a whole heap of different textures and pieces that um, the recipient can just take like the paper clip off and then they can use all the pieces to create their own embellishments or add to their own projects if they like so they're almost like little um uh, DIY embellishment um, little cluster kits in a way so I ended up adding a little uh, tag on this one which I cut out I stitched um, some words on there so I used just find the sticker pack I ended up using these really pretty um, Floral puppy stickers, which came from an old collection called Millie and June um, from 2016. And I had these in my stash and I thought that they would be really pretty to use. And I tried to use my new little black sewing machine, guys, and it is terrible. It is just no good. So I'm going to see if I can take it back. Um, it doesn't stitch straight it tries to it's like it has a mind of its own it's really scary so I've switched back over to my usual brother sewing machine which is really good and I just did some stitching down on the puffy word stickers there and then using my crocodile I just punched some little eyelets in the top there with some little baby um, yeah, eyelets that I had, which were gifted to me by one of my pen pals, Beck. She sent me this little pack of itty bitty tiny baby eyelets. And these are perfect to use on tiny little tags like this if you want to create your own. So I thought that turned out really cute. They come in all different like pastel colors. Then I grabbed some chain and added a couple of pretty wire wrapped beads on there. And then we've got the gold bulldog uh, clip. And then you can just take it off. So then the recipient can also take this piece off here if they like and reuse that because it's got a little lobster clasp on there. 
and then they can use the bulldog clip and then you've got all your different bits and pieces that they can use so you've got the cut apart on the top you've got a little like pocket here or a little envelope that they can use they've got a bit of that beautiful gold star glitter ribbon which they can use we have some of that pretty pink snow chawl again they can use that on whatever they like we then have a um like ephemera piece out of the garden party collection i then added a bit of gold foiled vellum as well like i said i wanted a whole heap of different textures and then they can use just all these different bits and pieces um, to create whatever they like so that's why i've kept everything blank and then we have this is also a cut apart from um, the Bloom um, 12 by 12 sheet, which came from these came from the same cut apart, but this one was my favorite one, so I've added that to the top. So I'm just trying to remember now how I had this, but it doesn't really matter. The whole idea is so that the recipient can just take all these bits and pieces off and use them to create something pretty so just do this and then we'll do that and then you just add your little clip and yeah they can use all of those bits and pieces and it turned out so pretty so that's my first one so i hope you guys have grabbed a drink or <laughs> a snack or sit down and do a little crafting while um while you watch this because i've got 10 to show you so this one here i ended up using the bloom cut apart so these were the two different uh i should say actually i had the I had two different bloom cut apart sheets so i had that one with all the tickets and everything on it that one came from the ticket one from bloom and this one came from the um the non sort of ticket like the one with all the tags and bits and pieces off of it because i love this floral teacup piece here it's so pretty and then again, we've got the little um, stitched like tag with the eyelet on there that I did. And then I added a couple of little wire wrapped beads, which are really pretty. And then with this one here, I kind of did the same thing with each one. And you've just got like, say, favourite cut apart on the top. And then we have a tag. Then we have some of that ribbon, some of that chool. Another cut apart from the same um, bloom cut apart sheet with the swan there. Some vellum. And then a piece out of, I believe, either the Garden Party or the Marigold Ephemera Pack. So just all bits and pieces that um, they can create something with. So I did that for every single one of these um, little clusters. And yeah, it turned out really pretty. So then I also did some with just like vellum on the top. So this one here is using the Chasing Dreams cut apart with the cameras. And with this one, I ended up just putting some beautiful pink 
velvet like trim or ribbon on this like bulldog clip so I thought they turned out so pretty and again lots of different pieces so different cut aparts this is also from a chasing dreams cut apart ribbon a chul um, beautiful swan from the Chasing Dreams cut apart. That gold foiled vellum, which I believe came from the Marigold collection. And I'll just I might just take each one apart if you guys um, aren't too bored. <laughs> And then this one as well, which is a Chasing Dreams um, cut apart as well. Lots of pretty pink in this one. I just loved all the pink together. So I wanted to do somewhat with dangles and some with um, like pink velvet trim because I am absolutely loving velvety trims at the moment. It's one of my favorite like trims to use. We have this one here, which was using the Oasis vellum cut apart. with the pink velvety trim such a gorgeous color so we have this piece here as the front I have to punch a hole in this one actually just so the recipient can use that i just realized i hadn't done that so we may as well sorry i'm just trying to see okay so there's our tag and then we have um, some tickets that they can use which came from a I believe it was a gather ticket cut apart that I just had on my craft table. This was kind of a bit like a cut apart left out from the Oasis Bathers one that I absolutely love. I thought they went really nice together. So it's like two different Oasis cut aparts there. Um, yeah, the ribbon, the chore, the vellum. So that's all the same. Then I added some of the camera ones that I cut out. And then I had this Oasis um, cut apart as well. So West Coast Relax and Unwind. So all kind of in a way. So it's like um, vacational themed, like the little cluster. So you've got like your tickets, you've got your bathers, you've got like your plane sort of ticket, like everything just coordinates. So I try to do that with most of all these clusters here. So these are in sort of no particular order. I'll just try and just seeing if these fit on. There we go. Then we have this one here using the black and white carousel cut apart. Added a couple of little wire wrapped beads again to that little dangle. I wanted to do these as those um those folded over. Hold on, let me see if I can show you an example with a bit of paper I might have here. This is a bit thicker, but this is the paper I used, which is from Gather. 
and I wanted to do the whole fold over and use the gold clasp and do stitching all around the edges but because I was using my new little black sewing machine um, I did a few test runs and it was not working and then I started running out of this this paper and I didn't want to waste it because <laughs> I like it so much so I ended up then just cutting out the little um, rectangular pieces and just doing it this way even though I would have liked to have done it the other way but I still think it turned out quite cute this way so on this cluster we've got that one it says date night special discount come in Tuesday nights after 5 5 p.m. for a date night discount <laughs> Then we have one of those little um, like ruffle pieces that I just quickly folded up um, from using some scrap carousel paper I had. So the recipient can use that if they like or they can stitch across it or staple across it or just leave it as it is to embellish their projects. We also have some tickets from the um, gather ticket cut apart sheet and the ribbon and the tool and the vellum and then we have um, this pretty carousel tag that they can use and then this um, piece comes from garden party like out of the ephemera pack this is hello my lovely Okay, then what do we have? Here we have the Oasis bathing suit cut apart. It's so gorgeous. I would love to do stitching around this or something like that. But like I said, I wanted to use these so it's a good way to gift bits and pieces. So, so your pen pal or swap partner can use these to create their own pretty things so we've got the pink velvet on that one I've got the bathing suit I ended up using the all heart one of the cut aparts from all heart underneath that I thought that went really well together um, we got the ribbon the tool we have this um, chill cut apart from the uh, Good Vibes by Crepe Paper. Uh, this piece here comes out of the Bloom Ephemera pack. And then we have this um, like tag piece here, which comes out of the either Garden Party or Marigold uh, Ephemera pack. I can never remember with all the ticket pieces like what comes from Marigold and what comes from Garden Party because they're both so similar. So it makes it a little bit tricky. So I can't wait to see what the other girls um, end up using or choosing as their 10 favourite cut aparts. So we then have this one here, which was using the um, Chasing Dreams, like little calendar cut apart. Let's see how pretty that is. And I thought I'd do April because it's the month of April. And I can use that to pop in like a, a diary or a journal. If they're doing a little album or a um, 
I'm just trying to think of what it's called that a lot of people do like when they call it like a December daily and things like that like you could do like an April um, one with all your photos and everything so pretty I love the the colors in all of these Wait, how pretty is that I love these um wire wrapped beads So we have our favourite cut apart. We have this piece here, which is from the Chasing Dreams ephemera pack. You are what dreams are made of. Our usual bits and pieces. And then we have like this um, library card and this cut apart also from Chasing Dreams. So I kind of just grabbed what I had sort of lying around after I chose all my cut aparts just to layer up and do these clusters. Just trying to get it, I don't know, to how I want it to, to sort of work. I like things to kind of be on a bit of an angle. So you get a peak of each... Um, you know, sort of texture. But it's also getting quite late and my brain is not functioning properly right now. So there's that one. We're almost there, guys, and then we're done. So we have this one here using the Good Vibes Cut Apart from Crepe Paper. So pretty and colourful. I wish I had more of this pink velvet trim. It's it's a non-stretchy one that someone gifted to me. Like they gave me just like a piece. It was on something and I saved it. And I wish I mm, excuse me. I wish I had more because it's just so pretty. Because all the other velvety trims I have are sort of like your elastic velvet trim. So we've got that cut apart, those pieces again. We have um, the ticket or tickets. That one. Uh, the Oasis bathing suit piece. And another one of those um, cut aparts from Chasing Dreams for the month of August. And how gorgeous are all these colours? They are so pretty. So loving these colours. I might even do something like that. Then we have our all heart cut apart using my favorite um, hand sign. So gorgeous. I always feel bad cutting up my all heart because it's my favorite collection and I don't have much of it left. So. Our clip. We have a tag. So colourful. I just love how everything is so bright and colourful. Some of these, it's like I, I don't know what I was doing. I've put bits and pieces in a funny way. We then have this obsessed piece also from the All Heart Cut Aparts. Our vellum and ribbon. We then have You Are Here, which comes out of the All Heart Ephemera pack. 
and just this piece of um, leftover all heart paper that I had sort of just hanging around so they can use that to create a tag or use it as a layering piece, whatever they like really. All the colours are gorgeous. So pretty. And then we have our last one, guys. And then that'll be it. So this one was using the um, tickets from the cut apart carousel cut apart and then i ended up putting the word fun on there just so it all goes well you've got your like stripy wire wrapped bead on there and then we have so we have the tickets We have this little um, newspaper carousel cut apart piece in a little as a little like sequin shaker. Very pretty. And then we've got our ribbon, our chool. We have a yay. The vellum and then this bit of um, carousel cardstock paper that I also had just sort of in my just you know I just find bits and pieces <laughs> I don't waste anything I, I try to save all my bits of paper so I can use them to create things because you know it costs so much you don't want to waste anything so there we go guys there's my 10 favorite cut aparts challenge with Tennille and Anna and um yeah I'll leave their links down below for you guys to go check out and check out and see what they created sure they're absolutely gorgeous and it's always fun to see what their interpretation is of how they would do like a little um cut apart cluster so because everyone likes to do things differently so i look forward to seeing their video and um yeah thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this and i'll catch you on the next one take care guys bye